Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Ravenclaw here back with a very special edition of Mount Madness. And in this one, we are going for the Cataclysm Hero? Dungeon Hero thing. Anyway, so we're basically going for the Volcanic Drake. I love this one. I Back when Cataclysm came out, I found out this was available. I had to get it. I think he or she looks awesome. Now, this, this guide took me quite a long time to make. I spent the whole day making this guide just for you guys to say thank you for all your support. We are almost at a thousand Raveneers. Ra Raveneers. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Tell me what you think in the comments. Anyway, so as this is a massive achievement guide, I'm going to make it very simple for you. Around the screen, you'll see links to all the different achievements so that way you don't have to sit through the whole thing if you're up to a specific one or if you are sitting back and you you've seen this guy for the first time you haven't done any of the achievements just watch the guide all the way through and you will get this sweet looking ride also for the people that don't know where the instances are and how to get there i will have a handy little link to a part of the video that shows every single instance and how to get there that way you can have everything you need in the one handy guide so anyway enough talk let's go out and get ourselves some achievements done so here we are in grim batol and we are at the general umbris umbris now this one's pretty easy all we need to do is kill an enlarged minion which i'll show you when he pops out so Better get into it. So now we just target ourself or something that is not alive so we don't kill him. So this one here, we have to kill him next to the boss. Okay, so now he's enraged and you just go to town on him. That's it. That's all you need to do. Just go nuts, let him shoot you around, make him feel special, blah, 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 and die. That's it. One done. Okay. So, after you've done that, you can dance on his body and whatever you need to do and bounce away. On to the next one. Okay, here we are at Arudax. Arudax? Arudax? Whatever. Okay, so basically this one is you nuke this guy down without him cracking any of these delicious spiky eggs around here. So, yeah. So if you're level 100, yeah, you know what to do. So... Yeah, let's just uh, let's just kill him. But be careful um, to uh, uh, um, uh, okay. So it looks like you can just one shot the boss. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Bounce away. Okay, guys, here we are in the dead mines, and we've got to kill Glubtok. Club talk. Now, for this one, you basically just have to stay out of his fiery, swirly shit that he puts on the floor. But once again, like we found in the other boss, we should be able to blow his face off before he does anything. So let's just try that. La 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 at what's his name lumbering oaf okay this one is the rat pack before we start let's just go forward slash m and make yourself a target macro okay so all you need to do is forward slash tar uh, space make sure there's a space and mine you can type mine space rat if you want but mine will just target the rats now the reason why is because these little critters there's going to be little rats that run around and it's not the easiest to target so if you make this macro and put it in a keybind that you find good to use then you'll be able to just target them really quick and shoot them down okay so what we need to make sure of is when we start the fight there'll be some little monkey things up here throwing bombs down on the floor and 
even though we're not hitting them, those bombs can eventually kill the boss. So, what we need to do is we need to pull the boss. I'll just target myself so I don't... Can I pull him without... Yep, I can. Okay. So, we'll just bounce around for a bit. See, you won't be able to get... Alright, so here we go. So, these things up here, we need to get rid of these real fast. Just pop them off. That's it. Now move the boss out of the way. And the rats will show up after this first charge. Okay, so boom. Ready? He lines you up for a big drop kick. Boof. Okay, so now we've targeted one mine rat. Two mine rat. Three mine rat. Four mine rat. Five mine rat. Six mine rat. Seven mine rat. Eight. Nine, please. See, having this macro allows you to target the mine rats. What the heck is this mine rat? <laughs> okay, so I haven't got any left. So he'll grab me again and... Oh, jeez. That actually hurt a lot. And there you have it. And we got Rat Pack. Sorry that took so long, but hopefully I would have sped up the video prior to this guide bit. Anyway, so it's pretty easy, just a little bit tedious to you. But whoa. Well then. That just happened. Okay, so you can sort of see that they all hide behind these log things and it gets a little bit annoying. And I almost killed the boss there by mistake by accidentally clicking, so that's why that macro works a treat. All right, so now we've done that, let's move on to the next part. This is the next achievement, and we are at the Reaper robot thing. It's just in the next room. So to get this achievement, you have to make sure that this robot here doesn't die. Okay, now obviously if you're a level 100, you can just do what I'm about to show you. But if you are lower levels, leave him up here. Okay, if you've got a team, keep one of you guys in the robot up here and the rest of you start destroying everything that comes up this ramp. It's the easiest way to do it, I've found. But for us level 100s, let's mosey on down here. Simply, you can shoot all these guys if you feel you need to. Or you can just go over to the big boss, which is standing right here. Okay, perhaps we need to destroy all these guys first. One, two, stop it. Three, stop it. Four, yeah. There we go. Okay, so kill all them guys first, and then he'll wake up. Done. That's it. So, the robot up there is still alive, and you're good to go. Now, I obviously had that achievement already. Yes, I did. Okay, moving on. Okay, so here we are at the top of the ship. And in this achievement, we basically just have to... Hmm, well, you're going to have to get his health below, you know, maybe 80%. Now this might be a bit hard as a level 100 because you may end up one-shotting him, but the achievement lies in the vapors. So let's see if we can just get his health down. Oh, that's perfect, All right? So he needs to go into his vapor stage, which I'll show you in a sec. He'll go into his like invisible phase and maybe have to get him down a little bit lower. Let's try. Get down. One more. Come on. 
Oh, I'm hitting the wrong guy. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here we go. So when the vapors come out, and you have these things here, we have to wait for them to turn into the big vapors and cast their frozen blast here, this thing, right here. Swirling vapor, I believe. So basically just stand here. That's all you really need to do. There we go. I think it's condensed vapor and they cast their big blasty thing and you stand here, you gotta get hit by three times. I think it's this one, colorless. And once, and there's twice, and three times. And when you get hit by him three times, then you get its frost damage. Oh, I actually didn't have this one. You'll notice a lot, guys, that I'll have some achievements, some not achievements. It seems that I've tried to do this ages ago and sort of gave up on it. But anyway, that's literally all you need to do is just stand there and wait for the cold to come on in. So now that we've downed the Admiral, we are going to get the little sneaky Murloc that's hiding up in here. Come out here. Go. Get out. All right. So he'll jump in his little pot. What we're looking for is the food that he drops. And we need to get one stack of wherever we are. So just wait for him to do his little thing. We're going to get nauseated, but we can only get one stack. So right there. And then we burn him down. That's it. Now, obviously, I already have the achievement, but just to show you this, do not gain more than one stack of nauseated during the fight. That's it. We got one stack. Easy. Well, we've killed the two bosses here and we're dancing on their corpses and we notice a little note. So let's pick up the note and read it. Okay, so you can see a lady up on the, the ledge just there. She offers you a drink. But unfortunately, she's into some weird stuff and she roofies you. And we end up in a little bit of a dream world. So, after we wake up from our dizzy state, we have to uh, find ourselves in a lava pot. So all you need to do is just click these valves on the side here. So you can swing yourself to freedom. Go ahead and click all of them. As you just saw there. And we'll be in a bit of a dizzy phase. Now, this one is very simple. All we need to do is just make it back to her to give her a can of whoop ass before the five minutes is up. So make sure you use your uh, cheater, everything you've got, you know, you uh, disengage, give yourself speed boost, jump around, la, 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 and you'll run into some bosses along the way, shoot them down, and you'll get a speed boost as well. So now that you've made it back to the top of the ship, you can launch up an arrow right between her eyes. Buzza! And that is it. We have killed her, I think. I hear a lot of people talking right now. But anyway, you guys will get the gist of things. Once you've finished talking to her and giving her what's for, I'm not supposed to get that loot up there. Anyway, once you've done all that, leap heroically off the ship and get out of the dead mines because we are done. All right, guys and girls, here we are in the stone core and there is only one achievement in this lovely dungeon and this is one of my favorites actually. Very easy, very fast, very fun. So basically all we need to do is collect up 60 of these followers here. Follower? Yep. Okay. Just rank them. Like rank them. <laughs> rack them all up. Because we're going to mow them all down in two seconds. So make them chase us all the way to the final boss over here. As you can see, there's a whole bunch more here. You don't need to do what I just did. But hey, why don't we just get as many as we can and lag out the game? Alright, but be sure that you 
Once you've collected them all up, you have to initiate the fight, okay? So you've initiated the fight, then you go ahead and just spam them all down. Boof, 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 just like that, then finish her off for good measure. Thank you, coming. Done. I love that achievement just because I see a lot of big numbers on the screen. Who doesn't love that? And those boots suck. So here we are, guys, at the Halls of Origination. Now, the reason why I'm standing at the front door is because one of the achievements requires you to complete a section of the dungeon within five minutes of entering the dungeon. Okay, so I just want to let you know that before we jump in. So let's just run and try and get this done as fast as we can. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Best thing is to have your uh, aspect of the cheater on, boost up as fast as you can, and burn down everything without even taking a second look at them. Get out of here, get out of here. Don't even worry about stopping. Unless you're low level, then by all means, you know, take your time. Do the dungeon, then come back and then do the uh, the Halls of Origination speed run, faster than the speed of light, on the second run. But if you're level 100, you can do the two achievements we're about to do in one go. So make sure you have your Aspect of Cheater on. Bounce away. But, so the first achievement here is we need to kill this guy before he sings his song. Just like that. Okay. Now, get rid of these guys while we wait because we can't go any further until this opens up. All right. Now, let me put this up. We need to clear this section here in under five minutes of entering the dungeon. So, I'll probably speed this up until we get to that point. Okay, so you made it to the door. Talk to the uh, the famous Bronze Beard. He seems to get himself into a lot of trouble. So right now the doors are open. It's game on. Run. What we need to do is kill all the elementals at all the four points, and it's good to go. So once again, level 100. All you need to do is just round everything up. Don't worry about all the mobs if you don't if you don't really you don't really need to worry about them. Just blow them away. Do what you need to do, but basically, like I said earlier, you just need to clear this whole section with under five minutes of entering. Okay, this is the last one. Boop. Ba 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 ba. Die, thank you. And that's it. Buzz and Speed of Light. Two achievements in one run. Now, I'll just clear out the rest of this trash, get rid of this boss that's coming up, and I'll catch you guys when we hit to the next achievement. So, we made it outside, and this achievement is quite a fun one. Now, well, when I first did this achievement run, back when Cataclysm came out, it was quite difficult to do. So basically all you need to do is jump on a camel that you see around here and kill the boss without getting knocked off the camel. Now we're level 100 and everything is super OP and we can kill everything in one shot. Not a problem, but yeah, lower levels, just make sure you don't get knocked off. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! And you know, before you go to the next one, enjoy your uh, camel ride. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, guys and girls. Now we are at the top of the castle and we are looking for Raj. So, all we basically really need to do for this guy is just burn him down. Now the objective for this one, this is the, I think it's the Son of a? Achievement? Yeah, Son of a. Okay, defeat Raj before he completes his entire recharging phase. Obviously, we will not let him even get to the start of his recharging phase. So, I mean, you can kill all these guys here, but really, it's just a matter of charging up and letting him know who's boss like this. Blah, blah. Thank you. And have a nice day. Let's see what we've got here. Nothing. Nothing for us to use. And get rid of all these guys. Blah, 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 blah. 
Okay, and that concludes this dungeon's achievements. I'll see you in the next one. So out of the desert and into the nice oasis. This one, we are in the lost city of Tolvia for Acrocalypse now, I think it is. That achievement there. Where are we? Let's just double check that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, Crocolypse now. So basically all we need to do is kite the boss around until we get a bunch of little crocodiles. We need 20 of them and then kill them all at once. So, we'll just select ourselves so we don't cause any unnecessary damage too early. And that's basically all it is. So just run around until you have five waves. I think it's about five waves. You'll get this little debuff on you and you can kill this guy. He doesn't, it doesn't matter. But see all these little crocodiles? Frenzy Crocs. Let them follow you around until you have 20. So there's four there. Obviously, yeah, you get the idea. So I'll speed this up and I will get back to you when uh, we're ready to nuke them all down. Okay, so I think we've got 20 here, and basically, like I said, all you need to do is just nuke everything down. And there's our Crocolypse now. Now, if you are a low level and you want to do this, it's probably best to get a tank to tank the boss and someone else to kite all the other Crocs around. Whoever gets the debuff that you saw before will have um, the Crocs, and yeah, the tank will tank the boss. Pretty simple and pretty fun too. So, I'll uh, meet you at the next achievement. So, we are here at the High Prophet. Now this one is called Kill It With Fire. And all we really need to do is get to his sort of soul harvest phase and kill our soul fragments with the fire left on the ground after we kill a certain bird. So, let's just pull him. Hello. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to wait for this bird right here. Oh wait, no, not there. Where is she? There she is. The blaze of the heavens. Now don't kill it straight away. Let it sort of trail along. See the fire it's leaving? We actually need that. Okay. So now you can kill it. We've got a couple of patches, which is perfect. All right. So now we just need to damage the boss enough so he goes into his soul harvest phase. Uh, so we'll just burn him down a little bit more. I don't want to use any big attacks. So I don't want to kill him. There we go. All right. So don't worry about this blaze of the heavens. We actually want as much fire as we can get. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got some... Yeah, we've got about four spots. It's perfect. Now what we need to do is we need to kite this lady around. Ladybird thing. And what we're actually trying to get is soul fragments. So as you can see, we've got a soul fragment there. We're gonna need to drag it through the fire. Okay, so watch it walk through the fire. Once it transforms, so you can see it's a little shadowy thing, kill it. Once again, this one over here. Bring it over here, make sure it walks through the fire. Just like that. See how it's on fire? It's corrupted. Boom. Once here. Last one here, you need to do it three times. Bring it through the fire. Okay, so that one disappeared, great. So we'll just come over here. Check, see its status. There's nothing there. Wait for it to go through the fire. See, burning soul. Shoot it. Nuke it. Pop it and lock it. Thank you, see you later. That's it. Okay, so quick tip, make sure when you are killing it, let's see what this guy's got first. When you are killing it, yeah, just be sure to check for that debuff. So you'll see burning soul. Once you see burning soul, then you know that you've done it right. 
Okay. And uh, yeah, now that we've done that, we will uh, move on. So here we are at the last achievement of this dungeon. And this one requires us to get some stacks of lightning. Uh, so it's like a, a debuff. We need to get three times that for that debuff from these guys over here. Servants. So all you really need to do is just rack up three of these guys. And then kill them one at a time. Let me just zoom out here. So you just need to yeah, kill them one at a time when you have all three. You'll get the debuff and then kill the boss. So I'll speed this up. So we can... Um, yeah, so we can see what happens. Okay, so now we have all three servants. Just bring them over here. Oh, it doesn't matter where you bring them, really. And kill them one off at a time. He'll do lightning charge. There's one debuff there. Here comes the second one. And here comes the third one. There we go. And now just burn the boss down. That's it. And there we go. Headed south. Easy peasy. So here we are in the Black Rock Caverns. Now this is the hardest achievement there is in this whole uh, achievement chain. Basically, what we need to do is we need to get this boss when he when he spawns um, to kill ten angered Earths. Now to spawn these angered Earths, we need to get hit by his earthquake ability, and it will spawn one. Now we only have two shots to do this in one go, and that is we need to have five all up at once, get him to do his Skullcracker ability, then do it again, get another five up, and then get him to do it once more. Now he only does it twice at the um, brackets of 63% I think, and again at 33%. So my tactic is to uh, wait for him to come over here. So he, I, I usually stand about here, because that's where he usually spawns to do the chain and then explosion. And I hit him once with my auto attack, being at this, you know, it depends on your gear and stuff too, but my gear, obviously being in PvP gear, it's quite high. So, I do one auto attack, then he'll run over. I face my back to him because I found that that's, a, you have more of a chance to get hit by his Earthquake ability. Now, what I mean by that is, we have a high dodge rate, and you can dodge such a low ability. But if I have my back to him, I seem to have get it. I seem to get it every single time. So what we need to do is uh, basically, I just want to show you one of these guys. So I got hit then. There he is. One Angered Earth. Okay, so we need to do this four more times. You need to get hit five times in a row. If you don't get hit five times in a row, you're going to have to, you know, wait again until you get hit exactly five times in a row. And the reason for that is these things can despawn and yeah, it just takes time. Now, also, if you happen to hit him below the brackets, see like right now I missed that uh, ability. So now I'm gonna have to wait again. Uh, so anyway, so if you miss the ability and you hit him a bit too low and you've stuffed it up, just feign death if you're a hunter um, and get out of combat. You know, if you're a night elf, shadow meld or whatever you need to do, other than that, just run out of the dungeon, come back. And yeah, this is, like I said, this is the hardest, um, achievement in this whole range for uh, level 100 that is so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to speed things up and uh, once we're uh, sort of close to finishing I'll get back to you
Okay, and there you go. Now I've already gotten the achievement, but just wanted to show you the full duration of the attacks. Now, you once you've finished with that, you kill him. And there you go. Oh, actually, I didn't. Could have sworn I got that achievement. Oh well, I didn't get it, but I got it now. So that's all you need to do. Okay, so just to recap, because this one is the worst one there is. Um, try and face your back to him. Stand where he does the chain. So that way, if you try and tank him over here, and you pull him, he pulls you all the way over here, and those ads have to run over. There's a chance that either he'll miss the attack or one of them will despawn in that time okay if you just do that easy if you fail the first run just feign death run out the door do what you need to do and then come back but other than that guys uh let's go finish off the uh the achievement quests uh the thing all right see you soon so here we are at caller caller yeah herald of twilight basically all we need to do is we need to start the fight these three things at the front will um, start getting shot by laser beams or whatever they are, that thing that's shooting down here. And what we would need them to do is all turn into um, giant gargoyle things, right? Then once they do, kill them. As you can see right now, they're getting stacked, so it'll get to 100. Let it get to 100 and all three of them. And then, yeah, kill them and then kill her. That's as simple as that. So we just got to wait, 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 wait. Okay, so there you go. You get rid of him. Get rid of him. Yep, was on an evolved one. Get rid of him, and then get rid of her. That's it. That's all you need to do. And it looks like I have that achievement already. I believe. Let me just double check this. So yeah, I already had that achievement. Couldn't track it. There you go. But that's what it is. Arrested development. Uh, allow the thing used to evolve. Then defeat. Da, 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 da. After slaying. Now, remember that. You have to slay them first. Then kill her. And that's it. Easy. Alright. Moving on. So with this one, guys. We need to grab the boss here. You can kill these stupid things if you want. But just need to grab the boss. Literally pull him into this lava. Let him sit there until he gets 15 stacks of lava burning i guess and then um yeah kill him there we go so we just sit here and wait five six seven eight and if you're a lower level you may need to um maybe bring a healer or something along like that but obviously as you can see at high levels it does absolutely nothing we can just go boom and boom that's it easy as that okay now we will uh move on to the last one as the last one that we're going to go to in this dungeon is actually pretty good as a ranged class a little bit harder as a melee all right so i'll see you then okay so with this one guys we have to kill the boss here before we take any stacks from any of the ads so basically just kite the ads kill the boss and as a level 100 you should be able to just nuke him down fast okay so let's get rid of him poor raz works so hard um, okay, so these are the ads, obviously. Now, this guy does um, transfer his body into an ad. So as a melee, just try and pull the the boss over to where I am here to sort of keep the ads away. And when he transfers his body, just make sure that you sort of, yeah, get out of the way. But as a level 100, you shouldn't have any problems. So basically, it's just nuke him down as fast as you can. Wait for him to transfer his body. Okay, so he's over there. So you just jump around, jump around. As long as you don't get any stacks from the ads, you're good to go. Like that. Happy days. Here we are in Shadowfang Keep. Now, in this one, the first boss we have to do. And basically, all we really need to do is nuke him down as a level 100. And for lower levels, he will bring everyone to he'll do this ability where everyone loses their health gets down to like 10 percent and you've got to nuke him down before he heals everyone up that's pretty much all there is to it 
So just go ahead, destroy him, and done. Pardon denied. Okay, guys, so with this one, this is obviously not the last one. I forgot about this one. This is the second last one. All you need to do is just grab the boss here. Grab the boss here. And just, yeah, nuke him down. That's it. Okay, so here we are, guys, at Lord Godfrey. This one's very easy. Basically, all we need to do is run upstairs. Best to do it up here because what we need to do is kill 12, I think, 12 of his fiends with his, uh, like, bullet barrage ability. So when he summons these little fiend things on the ground, bring them over here. I'll bring them in front of the... the... Uh, barrage of bullets and yeah just uh rinse and repeat best to probably bring him like to the edge here so he sort of sprays his uh damage all over into the the wall here which did not sound too good <laughs> whoops so here's another i think he does six at a time so if we just go over here let them all run over here one, two, three, four, five, da 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 da. I think I may have missed one. But we'll just do one more barrage just for good, safe measure. But I think I've already done this achievement anyway, so I'll just need one more time and then we'll kill him. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that I've done the bullet time. There we go. Now all we need to do is once you get 12, just say good night to Mr. Godfrey. And bullet time is yours. Okay. So, the next one, we will be heading underwater. I'll see you there. So here we are at the Throne of Tides. And we've got two more achievements to go here. And I'm pretty sure that we're done. And so with this one, we just have to initiate the fight. And we've just got to get her to kill one of her own minions. So we just bounce around, wait until she um, summons. And yeah, when we get one of the adds, I'll show you what to do. Okay, so now we'll kill this one here. Kill that witch over there and we'll keep this guy alive. So now that we're out, we just wait for her to summon these geysers, which you'll see on the ground as little green right here. So, any second now. There we go, there's one. Watch him get damaged. Wait for the next one to come out. Any second now, where is she gonna drop it? About here. So, we'll just make him sit right there. He'll pop up into the air with me. And we can just simply go, bunk, bounce away. Okay, so the next one's coming over here, I believe. Yep, make him sit in that. Up he goes. It's a bit of a uh, an annoying achievement, but, you know, we can't make it too easy, I guess. So there's the last one. This should do it. Shoot him up. And there we go. Now we just finish her off. And teach her a lesson for killing her own people. Alright, guys and girls, here we are at the last achievement. So let's just initiate the fight. Basically, what we're looking for is an unyielding behemoth. We need to keep that particular ad alive. Plus, we also need to get the threat so it's not targeting the boss. Kill everything else as we run around. Make sure you keep an eye out for where the behemoth is going to land so that we can get its attention. Uh, where are we? Here we go, right here. Try and get its attention straight up, if we can. I don't think we can, can we? Is it attacking me or the boss? I don't know. With the boss. I don't think it'd be too much of an issue if he uh, attacks the boss. It's just unfortunately we've got nothing to... Uh, to take him off. We'll just see how we go. It has been a while since I've done this. Okay, so we should be able to 
grow up big now. Now that we're big, we kill him. And then we shoot the big fella in the face up there. And we call it a day. Just like that. Well, guys, that was an absolute crazy edition of Mount Madness. I hope you found it helpful, and I hope to see you guys flying around the skies, riding into battle on your new volcanic drake. If you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments. If you like this guide, make sure you hit that like button, and if you have seen this from somewhere in the world and you're not part of the Ravenclaw crew, hit that subscribe button, guys, because I have many more cool things to come. And as always, you awesome people, you keep on sniping, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.